Alright, I've got a typical example of Minecraft weirdness to show you. So I've got a portal over here and I've got a portal down there and as you can see they're placed perpendicular to one another, right? They're rotated 90 degrees. Now here's the funny thing, I'm going to let go of my mouse right now. I'm not touching my mouse, I'm just going to walk forward. And I'm going to go through the portal. Blah 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 blah, there we go. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to go into this portal which leads to the other portal up in the in my base. And you will see if I work forwards now, I have been rotated 90 degrees. Minecraft rotated me 90 degrees just by going through a portal. Now, I didn't move my mouse at all. Minecraft did that for me. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Last episode, I built this base over here. And um, it's kind of already subject to a lot of pranks, I've noticed. First, we discovered right after I built it that somebody put clocks all over it, just like this in item frames. I found 14 clocks like that, and I have confirmed that it was Catlord who did it. While I was off camera, I sort of accidentally stumbled upon a clock over here, so that's number 15. But Catlord confirmed to me that there are actually 16, and so I really, 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 really want to find the last one. So I figured I go through all of my chests like this and look maybe he didn't put it in an item frame like the other ones maybe he just put it in a chest right then i found this chest over here which has got cookies 16 of them now i sort of suspect that's from the scavenger hunt but i think it's kind of weird to have 16 because for the scavenger hunt you need only 12 so whoever did this thank you for the 12 or 16 cookies i can count i swear but as you can see there's no clock in here so I'm just going to continue looking through these chests and seeing if I can find one in here. Wait. Oh! Oh, that's so sneaky, Cat Lord! Cat Lord! Well, I think that's number 16 then. Look, I got 16 item frames over here. Cat Lord! That was sneaky. Oh my. I've been keeping the clocks in here, by the way. There we go, 16 of those clocks. Funny thing is, this was also for the scavenger hunt. For the scavenger hunt, you need to find a player with a clock. Catlord couldn't find a player, and so he just gave me a whole bunch of clocks. Little did he know that I actually had a clock over here already this entire time. So that is something. Speaking of the scavenger hunt, I've actually already completed mine in a previous episode. It started raining. Let's go to my bedroom, it's cozy there. Now for those of you who miss context, this is a little book. The scavenger hunt that Gwen put together. It has a whole bunch of questions about the Arcadians. In a previous episode I said I would just tackle a couple of those tasks every episode. But then I got sick and there is a time limit on this thing, so I just went ahead and I did it, as you can see. I'm sort of going through them, sort of slowly, hopefully slow enough. If you want to read, you can just pause the video. I might be going too fast, in which case I am sorry. I'm also running out of things to say. There you go, that's the scavenger hunt. Let's get rid of the rain, shall we? Anyway, I need to deliver this book to Gwen now, and I'm kind of just waiting for a, for an appointment. Well, that didn't take long. Gwen is available now. Also, last episode, Gwen commissioned me to make keys for her dungeon, and they're ready for her to pick up, so let's go. You have the keys done? I do, and I'm so well prepared that I am, um, I'm pretty sure I have them in here. Yes, I do. Oh, look at that. I made you <gasps> 20 of each in advance. Oh my goodness. I know you said you needed oh, 10, but I had awesome. a bunch of paper. <gasps> these are awesome. Unfortunately, your desk is in the way, so it's, 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 it's a weird, there yeah, we, we go. We can do that. Okay. <laughs> these are cool. Thank oh, you. This is going to make the dungeon, like, just so cool i know it's cool is a i overuse that word a lot nah. know, that's another word i could use there is no substitute for cool you can use that one i know oh those are awesome oh i can't wait well thank you i'm glad you like them i i absolutely love them so let's see what did we say Six sixteen, right i am pretty sure we did 67 percent sure 70. We'll round up. Okay, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. That's payment. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Can I have that? <laughs> Come again. Can I have that back? <laughs> <Here you go. laughs> I meant to hit the uh, the E button, and somehow I hit Q. <laughs> oh, there, there, there you go. The there, other side that should be better. better. There you go. Thank you. Hey, while uh, while you're, I'm talking to you here, did you uh -huh. finish the uh, scavenger hunt by chance? Well... As it happens, I did. Look, I've got the book here. 
Awesome. awesome. If you want to have a look at that, um, I'm a little bit ashamed about this little something. This is for question 30. It's my own head. <laughs> oh, it's your own. That's okay. That's good. It's a That's good. little awkward, but yeah. At least it wasn't an animal, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks like everything is checking checking out. I haven't really fully uh, looked at everyone else. Oh, I, that's right. I'm down there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know for which one, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. All checks out. Um, so, um, I will definitely. So I got I got to deliver a couple things to mm -hmm. you and to a couple other members i just got to make sure those things are ready for delivery which all right they will be soon awesome i'm just finalizing the last bits and then uh you can you it's a it's a choice of a shulker box Ooh. so i'll leave that as a surprise so okay, I well i do like shulker much. boxes yeah 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 They're f it's full of goodies depending on which one you choose and it's even full of goodies it's even full of goodies oh, that you can yeah, yeah. Uh, you have to use them in the dungeon. You can't go in with. Yeah, yeah. They're, you know. they're, it's a dungeon choker. It's a dungeon thing, right? Yeah, no, definitely. I'm so excited. I I'm getting there. It's almost done. You got this. <laughs> okay, it is. It is very challenging. It is the mm -hmm. hardest thing you will ever do. Donkey, what are we gonna do with you? Oh, uh, I I have no idea what this what this one's going to <laughs> what we're going to do with this one. Uh, I need to move him. Because now he's all alone here. Yeah. Did you want help bringing him to your base since I can walk on water? <gasps> you know, that's so ep that's a really good idea. I did not think yeah, of yeah. that. I want that. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Thank you yeah, very all much. Right. All right. Yeah, I can help you. Let's let's uh Let's go oh. figure that out. So, which way we going? It's that way. We're going I think around the island over here. Okay. Oh, this is so nice. Yeah. It's nice to have friends that walk on water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, watch the guy in the boat. Oh, I think we can uh, we can go over the island here. Can we go around him here? Go go this. We can over, there we go. go over the island. Um Although this is a little bit steep. Can we get here? Oh, we can get here. So I think for now, Donkey is going to have to stay down here a little bit. Is I mean, is that your island in the sky? That is my cloud. <laughs> That's your cloud. You're living in a cloud. I'm living in a cloud. I have cloud-based wow. storage as well. There we go. So we got uh, water. We've got some food. We've got some additional food. I think that donkey should be fine here for a little while until I make something better. Yeah. Maybe, maybe a, a, a barn in the clouds. <laughs> the cloud barn. I, yeah, 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 sure. Cl the cloud barn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, thank well, you for helping nope. me get donkey over here. That was huge help so i really you're appreciate welcome. it you're welcome yeah no problem any any time you need uh ice services i i don't know i can't think of anything witty enough <laughs> <laughs> it's fine i'll i'll go for elsa it's fine let it let it go just let, let it, it go. go just let it go just let it go so that was a lot of fun hanging out with Gwen and in the end, as you saw, we even brought Donkey over here. We still need to give him a proper home somewhere, but for now he's just over there. Look, there he is chilling. Oh, I'm falling and I just noticed there is something here as well. Oh look, Donkey, you got a cake! Whoever gave it to Donkey, thank you very much. That's very kind and thoughtful. It looks like Don Donkey even had a piece or maybe you did, whoever gave this. Actually, I'm a little bit hungry. I might get a little piece as well. There you go. Look at that. Don't worry, Donkey. We'll get you a place soon. For now, what I wanted to do is go over to the gaming district. As I said earlier on in the episode, it's been a while since I've been on the server because I've been sick and a lot of stuff has happened. I'm going the wrong direction. I need to go in this direction. Oh, pff, hi. Gamer Town. Here it is. Look at that. There we are. Um... Oh, this is already new. Let's see, is this some kind of boat racing game on ice? Looks like it. That looks really interesting though. There's some up in the water, I think, and down in the tunnel. That's cool. How do you go up that though? I'm not sure. We'll figure that one out later, because I am still wanting to explore for a little bit. This here is made by Cat... That's made by RKB, by the way, I think. This here is Bomberman, made by Cat Lord. You need two players for it, so that's not weird, something we're playing today. This is also really cool, Scuba, 
made this really cool Connect 4 game. Um, it looks like there's already some sand over here or some concrete. So maybe we can. I'm not. I'm, I'm actually afraid of ruining the thing. It's a complex redstone machine. I'm afraid I'll I'll ruin it. Oh, it's the node blocks, isn't it? I don't know what the lever has to do with it. It's like this, isn't it? I don't want to ruin anything. I'm I'm afraid. I think you just right click the node blocks. Let's go on. All right, there's this arena over here that I smacked my head into. Um, this looks like like fun. RKB made this one as well. I think this is the entrance over here. Yeah, okay, so you put everything away in your chests, or in your barrel, I guess, and you set your spawn. And then the arena does things. So this seems like something that is a multiplayer game as well, so I guess we're not checking this one out today either. We should get a bunch of Arcadians together just to play a lot of these games. Let's go see what's over there, because that's new as well. Ouch, my leg. So this one you may remember, I went broke over this game, but right next to it is another game by Humble. Um, I don't really know what it's called. Oh, Triblade. This is really fun because you can go in here. Actually, is there a trident in here? I can show it maybe. How does this work? I believe you go in like this and then you go like so. Now because this trident has Riptide on it, you can shoot it and it will shoot the player, right? And so, kind of the idea is that you attack other players with it. This is also a PvP game. You attack other players by hitting them and whoever wins... Whoever remains at the end uh, wins, I guess. Whoop! Can I get out? There you go. So this is a fun little game. Also a multiplayer game. We should definitely get a bunch of Arcadians together. Let's see, is there anything else here? I think there is. Oh, this is what I was looking for. Don't look down. This is by Sylphs. It is something that I could have lost a lot of diamonds over if only I uh, wasn't sick. Let's see how this is work. Don't look down. For Percy. <gasps> Wait, that's a gift for me. <gasps> oh, I feel kind of bad because I completely forgot about this. But Tris, I think, left this for me and I didn't do anything with it. Uh, <laughs> well, this is a whole token. Let's take it. Let's play this game then. I don't really know how it works. But there's a read before playing books. Let me just read it real quick. <laughs> it says purchase a DLD token, but, but I got one for free. All right, so essentially we put all of our stuff away somewhere. That's, uh, I happen to have a chest on me, so see if I can put it in here all. See, there's a really big chance that um, I may die. I'm not really sure what this means, but I believe I put this token in here. And that starts the game. And you can already see how this is a very difficult game. Um, I don't know what to do here, actually. Oh, and, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so scared of this. There we go! Ah! Oh, no, 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 ooh, I glitched, I glitched. Oh, I was, nope, I'm dead. I did not set my spawn. It says very specifically to set your spawn. This here is the walk of shame, everybody. Darn it. Uh, yeah, take two. There we go, I'm back. Let me grab some carrots. And you know what, that's actually play properly. Oh, I need to stand on the pressure plate. Ah, that's not a nice tune. Let me also set my spawn properly this time. And grab my wallet out. Let's get some, um... Let's get some runs in here. I think I get three, yes indeed. Alright, let's go, another round. You know what, I think it takes a while for them to start, so maybe at the start I should... Not start. Huh. Oh! Oh no! Yeah, that's the end. Oh, what's still down there? Oh, I'm doing something. All right, all right, all right, all right, right. Wait, we have to go back as well. Okay. Uh, oh, this is so scary now doing it the second time. Oh no. All right, this is my last try because I know myself well enough to know that if I don't stop now, this barrel is going to be filled up with my diamond. That's not a barrel, that's a chest. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that was... Okay, maybe not the smartest. Okay, I'm going to be smarter this time. <laughs> <I'm t> <laughs> I just said I wasn't going to do this. I'm so smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Le 
Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh no. Okay, I stopped. That wasn't smart. <laughs> oh, oh no. Ah, no. Yes. Whoa, leg saved me, but then I died again. Okay, this is truly the last run that I'm doing. Well, that wasn't a very good run, was it? <laughs> okay, I am actually going to stop. I will lose all my diamonds in here. But this is a really, really, really fun game. Oh, I think Wood likes it too. Thank yourselves for creating it. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, if you manage to beat that thing, you can get a prize over here. Which I didn't, so I'm not here. Not in the gaming district, but still very much a game is... The Skyward Citadel Elytra course. Just down this tunnel. This is really cool. It's an Elytra course that Kaimadar has set up. And I've, in fact, I think it's three courses ranging in difficulty. So let's go see what's on the other side. A, vi a village! <laughs> now I've already seen a little bit of this. Um, this dude is building with diamonds. Show off. I've just read the almighty book. As I've said, there are three courses. There's Emerald, there's the Golden Abyss, and there's the Amethyst one which also has a name, the Amethyst Breeze. That's the one. Now you can practice as much as you want. Practicing is free, but if you want to have it timed and you can put it in the book over here, then you pay a diamond for each run. So I was thinking, let's just practice, get some practice in. Let's just see how we go. I'm going to take a to totem and set my spawn just in case. And if I suspect that I might die, why not just put everything away? All right, let's go. I also put my wings away. That's stupid. I have never done anything as stupid as that. Um, wow. Is there any way back up without wings? Oh no. How did I do this? How did I do that? Uh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh man. You can't get over there because it has a rim everywhere. Oh no. <laughs> Oh boy, this, oh my, is this for real? I've got nothing. I'm also half dead. Maybe I should be careful or just, you know. Oh no, that's not good. I'm naked. <laughs> Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. All right, let's see. Wings equipped. Let's try that again. Take two. Wee! <laughs> oh, I really <laughs> should not be dead. <laughs> Oh boy, I don't think parkours are for me. <laughs> and stop the time. There you go. Oh boy. Well, that was 1 minute, 27 seconds and 97 milliseconds. Which you already knew because it's in the top screen of the top corner of the screen. And it looks like it was a good idea for me that I brought that totem. To check, I would have actually come just behind Tooth over here in 4th place so that's not even enough to make the leaderboards anyway today doesn't really appear to be my day with mini games so i think i'm going to go head over to my cloud which is comfortable and soft and nice and i'm going to call it an episode i hope that you've enjoyed this one i sure did especially at the end there and i hope to see you in the next one Bye bye